Hello everybody, welcome to our channel Being Civil. We are going to start a complete AutoCAD tutorial series for civil engineers. AutoCAD is a very essential software for making drawings. Uh, in civil engineering, uh, the civil engineering drawing, the needs of AutoCAD is very much so we are making complete AutoCAD tutorial series on our channel being civil now you see this is the AutoCAD uh, software when you open it you will see this uh, space um, you see here it is AutoCAD classic this is the workspace where you will work on there are different types of workspace in AutoCAD. The simplest is AutoCAD Classic. For a beginner, it is very uh, useful to use AutoCAD Classic. This portion is the command area. Here you have to put the command to draw different things. You see at the top right corner, it is the WCS, it's a world coordinate system. Uh, it is um, north, east, south, west. And the bottom left corner, you will see the coordinate X and Y. There are three axes X, Y, and Z. As it is a 2D wireframe, you see it's a 2D wireframe, so you are seeing the plan that is X and Y axis. Um, in the left side you see different tools for drawing in the right hand side also different things we will go into this in detail in uh, the following videos but in this video we will learn coordinate system of AutoCAD and how to draw line so to, uh, in AutoCAD coordinate system is an utmost of utmost importance um, without coordinate system you can't draw anything so let us introduce the coordinate system of AutoCAD in AutoCAD um, Uh, we will learn there is two coordinate system one is Cartesian coordinate system and another is polar coordinate system you all know that so the axis is the x axis is the y axis we will all uh, we all know that this direction is positive in y this is positive and this is the negative negative it's zero zero it is called Cartesian coordinate system another is polar coordinate system in polar coordinate system um, we there is two that is two parameter r and theta in Cartesian it is two x and y to locate a point you have to give the x coordinate and y coordinate of this point suppose this point is 3 comma 3 so this means this distance is 3 and this distance also 3 so if you know the two coordinates x and y of the point you can easily locate the point in polar 
coordinate system to locate a point you have to know the radial distance r and the angle the line is making with the x axis you have to know so the coordinate will be r theta if you uh, for this point if it is a 3 3 in cartesian coordinate system so the r value is and the angle is 45 degree so it will be 3 root 2 45 degree so uh, using this two co uh, coordinate system let's try to draw a line in AutoCAD so this is the AutoCAD workspace uh, before start drawing just create a file new a select template dialog box will open I will suggest you to select AutoCAD ISO.DWT click open the the space the workspace where you draw will open now before start drawing it is useful to men mention the area of the paper where you want to draw so let's draw in a A4 paper so you have to set the limit of the paper for this write the comment limits you see it is showing the lower left corner it is 0 0 the upper right corner for him a4 paper you know the dimension of the a4 paper is 210 millimeter by 297 millimeter so I am specifying the upper right corner so the coordinate of the upper right corner if the effort paper is oriented in the landscape direction it will be in x direction 297 millimeter comma 210 millimeter so we have specifying the limit now put a comment Z which is zoom and A for all so this is the workspace the limits you have set is done now to start drawing with line the comment for drawing a line is L in the short form and you may also write line just hit enter or space in AutoCAD you can use space as enter so you see it is showing the specify first corner let us uh, start the line from a point 10 comma 10 you see the point is selected it is 10 comma 10 line is trying from 10 comma 10 specify the second point 
20 comma 20 you see the line is created the showing the specify next point let's um, uh, 10 comma 20 30 comma 30 14 comma 10 you see using the coordinates you can draw the line and if you uh, see that specify next point or closer uh, and if you put C that is for close the line will end at the first point you have started now we will start using the coordinate system we have just learned line you may also click at any point of this page this line will start from there now I want my next point of the line at an angle 45 degree and at a distance of 10 millimeter so from the uh, first point so you have to use the polar coordinate system at the rate it is the formula to use the polar coordinate system the at the rate then the distance that is r let's 10 the angle it is the less than symbol 45 means 45 degree at an uh, angle 45 degree and at a distance of 10 millimeter from the first point you see the line is created now i want to go in this direction horizontally of 10 millimeter at the right angle 10 the angle will be 0 degree you got line I want to go in this direction at the rate 10 angle 90 if you want to go this direction the angle will be 180 degree angle 180 you may I am clicking here line will create it I want to go in this direction at the rate 10 270 degree I want to go this direction um, at the rate 10 we have uh, just tried the 270 degree you may also write minus 90 go there I need to go in this direction at the rate 10 you may also write minus 180 degree if you just place enter the line will stop there so uh, you see the angle the anti uh, anti clockwise is positive and clockwise is negative so this angle is minus 90 degree and this angle is one uh, sorry 90 plus 90 degree and this is 0 degree in AutoCAD there is another coordinate system you, you can use which is is uh, relative coordinate system which is nothing but the position of a point 
you have to mention from the preceding point just for example you have go uh, you have done a um, 2 3 comma 3 now we have to go 3 units from this point and 2 unit from this point uh, 3 units from this point in x direction and 2 in from this point in um, y direction so you don't need to calculate the uh, position uh, coordinate of this point that is it is 6 comma 5 you don't need to calculate this after reaching this point 3 comma 3 to go the next point you can write down at the rate the relative distance that is 3 in x direction and 2 in y direction so this is the relative coordinate system let us try to draw using relative coordinate system line let's place a point uh, we are we want to go to another point which is at a distance of 10 units in x direction and distance of 20 in y direction from this point now go there so you can there Mm, so for this reason um, for this coordinate system you don't need to know the coordinate of the preceding point you no need to calculate the coordinate of the new point you have just to know the relative distance that we want to go in a horizontal direction so the uh, relative let in 20 millimeter in this direction so in relative coordinate system if you go horizontal then there is no change in y so put the value of change in y equal to 0 let's say you want to go in this direction 20 units 20, uh, sorry the x will be 0 and y will be minus 20 So, in AutoCAD, the basic thing is to learn how to draw line and it is very essential to learn coordinate system. In the next videos, we will learn different geometrical shapes like circles, squares, rectangles, etc. etc. Hope you like my video. If yes, then hit a like button. Put your views in the comment section and subscribe my channel to stay updated. Happy learning. Take care. Bye.